situations, free kicks and corner kicks which have led to goals. And it is Watts to take this corner. Swing it in towards the head of Cotter. Didn't make clean contact. Mandroy was able to keep it in play though. This is similar to what happened. He scored from this second ball against Dirty last week where Dirty cleared the corner and it came out. And, uh, Rovers were able to put the ball back in and it was a wonderful header from Lee Grace. Here's Watts again. Lovely bit of control from Dylan Watts there to get away from right. Pulls it back for Dow. Shot is too high. Just got underneath it. That's it's exactly the effort. It was exactly what I was thinking. He sort of leans back. Robbie McCourt here, before he played with Bowes and Waterford, he had a spell with West Brom's exactly, under 23 yeah. team. Left That's well played by Mandroyo to nick it away there from Cawley. Mandroyo still driving forward. Danny Mandroyo oh. plays the net. It's an opening goal for Shamrock Rovers and it's all about one man and that man is Danny Mandroyo. Brilliant piece of play to rob the ball and eventually slide it past Ed McGinty. Ten minutes in, it's Shamrock Rovers 1, Sligo Rovers nil. Time and time again, he just brightens up the game. It was actually quite a dull start and he just comes on and nicks the ball and he just keeps driving. Really good run from Aaron Green because it pulls Buckley away. And it opens up the middle of the goal and it's such a just a clever clinical finish. Slots it down the side, it doesn't give the, the goalkeeper a chance to set himself. Really good impetus from him to get on to the second ball. Great run from So it's going to be Watts to send this corner in towards the back post. The header is off the crossbar. It was Lee Grace. Well, we saw him score from a delivery in the game again. Grace again right looking to put Alan Manis under pressure not sure Alan Manis will have appreciated that back pass but he got it away well actually to Mandroyo no it wasn't probably the most thoughtful one in terms of he bounced there in front of him didn't he all Alan could do was what he done which is just get con good contact on over the side foot and Wright was closing him down Mandroyo does really well to clean her up yeah. on the other side and just secure possession for, for Rovers for Shamrock Rovers here's Gary O'Neill for the goal scorer Danny Mandroyo it's a really good return for a midfield player 10 goals yeah. already this season for Mandroyo um, he's been excellent in flashes Danny where he he'll drift into the game here's Tao lots of space yeah. for him to run into gets the ball wide to Ronan Finn Finn oh, oh that's a really a good save. save by McGinty great effort from Ronan Finn oh, and a brilliant save skipped right in front of him as well Neil plays it forward but only as far as Donlan Buckley great closing down there by Cotter putting Banks under pressure likewise Grace with uh, Melvin Melvin using his strength though to hold off Grace Cotter got a touch on the ball there still with Sligo chance here for Golly oh, just wide of the post good effort yeah and he worked it really well tackle. actually didn't need the full back deepens which causes Co three players in the area for Sligo Rovers Here's Figuera. And hacked away eventually by O'Neill towards Green on halfway. This could break here from Androyu. Green checked his run to make sure he stayed on side. This is Aaron Green to make it 2 0 for Shamrock Rovers. What a cheeky oh. finish! Oh, what a goal from Wonderful Aaron Green! Goal. It's Shamrock Rovers 2, Sligo Rovers 0, and Aaron Green with a quite delightful finish for 2 0. <laughs> it's a beautiful finish in the end. It's, the, it's not something I've ever seen Green do. And he showed great composure because he has a lot of time to think about a con. It's a lovely way to pass from Androyu. His first touch is wonderful. He takes another little touch to set himself. Keeper got I did keeper doesn't even go down. It's a fantastic finish from Aaron Green. Nothing more than Shamrock Rovers deserve. Well Aaron Green selected ahead of Gap. Well, it's a nice cushion for Stephen Bradley's side. Ten minutes before half time, two goal advantage. We were we were touching on it as well about how Danny uh, Mondroyu plays and like plays in bursts where he'll go quiet in the game and drift in and out. And before you know it, he scored. Then before you know it, he's broke through and he, he set up an assist. Yeah, oh, that's a lovely turn from Green, giving it back to Mondroyu. Chance for three 0 and the keeper makes a good save. It's back with Aaron Green again though in the area. That was nearly a role reversal there with Green setting Mandroyo up for that uh, opportunity. 
good save by Ed McGinty in the end. Watts does well to win the ball back for Rovers. Sligo Rovers look sluggish here, I have yeah. to say. Oh, ooh, that's a bad challenge. The referee saw that. Yeah. Coley. And maybe that's what Sligo Rovers need to just yeah. Yeah. up the pitch. They're not holding the ball up. The, the easy ozy with everything. I'm thinking you're 2 0 down. Still a long way to go in this game, yeah. though. Oh, here's Towel. Nice little touch from Towel here. He's got support from Dylan Watts. Watts forces another save from McGinty. Didn't quite catch the shot no. the way he would have wanted to. And he, he, he always had it in his head that he was going to check him. Then they, they, they get up to the ball and win seconds. Oh. Well, there's a poor back pass and the goalkeeper had to react very quickly, which he did. McGinty. Mandroyo again being encouraged to shoot by the crowd from a long way out. Here's Dylan Watts. Clever oh. ball by Watts in behind. And the shot hits the side netting. Which you tell yeah. Aaron Green reads it really well and puts a lot of pressure on McGinty McGinty over there an important one as well ball played inside to Watts in a bit of space pass out wide from Watts didn't reach uh, Mandroy it's a very rare thing there a misplaced pass from Dylan Watts and Figuera driving forward yeah. he was fouled by Watts and the referee waited to see if the advantage would accrue it didn't so the free kick is uh, he showed little in. glimpses today of so some of the stuff he can do he's actually quicker running with the ball than he is without it um, well, he, it seems that way, but he's been really good. But Coley, that's right. a great cross into the area. The header's on target, but an easy save. Manus collecting that header from Johnny Kenny with ease. Yeah, he just gets the things in the one that you make the game easier for yourself and that by taking care of the distance in the next 20 minutes. Finn tried to go through two players there, but just one player too many. Because a lot of the time when Sligo cough up the ball, they're leaving three up front. Farouz isn't running back. Figuera, yeah. Figuera, sorry. Figuera isn't running back. Andre Roy isn't running back. John Kenny is stuck out on the right-hand side. So you could actually really take advantage and, and, and put them to the sword here. Here's Kenny. Sending it out to Donald on that far side. Back to Adam McDonald. And Coley again. Banks. For Andre Wright. And now David Cawley again. Figuera. Ambitious effort from outside the area from yeah. Walter Figuera. No bother to Alan Manis. It was a wonderful little step over actually, but he just. So Manis is going to take this. So good looking around the uh, ground here to see so many young kids at the match enjoying supporting their local team having a night out seeing some really good football here's Ferugia for Aaron Green ball played inside there was a challenge in the area there no penalty Tell's shot was easily saved he does that really well, Mandroyu, is he puts his body across the ball. Similar to what he done in the last half hour against Derry, is that you're just going to see out the game here and be, put in a professional performance. McCann is on with O'Neill, he's going to sit and play in beside him. The hope and tell, Mandroyu with Green and the two wing-backs are able to get them up the pitch and, and create chances, but they'll always have that over the ball. Here's a chance, Mandroyu in the area, heavy touch. Goalkeeper did just enough, the flag stayed down. That was so close to 3-0 for Shamrock Rovers. Flicking things, they're, they're being a little bit loose and they're inviting challenges because Sligo probably thinking he's trying to, you know, rub it in a little bit. So I think Shamrock Or is Rovers, it not just managing to get the way you no, were talking yeah, about finishing the game against managing Derry. the game and I think, I think they, sh they should take, I think they should just do, do pass the ball properly, move the ball properly, don't take extra touches on the ball, just keep, keep away from contact as well because obviously you don't want them getting injuries but... Figueroa has like done well there yeah. and that's a dangerous ball into the centre oh that was a real chance and Alan Manis grasps the ball gratefully in his arms and Johnny Kenny was getting in behind Grace there and Lopez and Grace between them get Rovers out of trouble yeah he's done well it was a good it was a good ball over the top for Johnny and it sort of caught uh, Grace on the back foot and having a lovely Farouge weighted pass here. there for Ferugia Rory Gaffney charging into the area it's played back to Gaffney now Gaffney the shot's just wide oh, oh that would have been a great goal just took a little nick on the way out as well it's going to be a corner kick it had to be McGinty then the message 
So it's Richie Towle who's going to take it now. An outswinger. Lopez oh. gets his head to it and another good save from McGinty. Yeah, the outswingers as well. When you, you can time your crisp header as yeah, well. Yeah, that's the area on the outswingers, the ones that are sort of back on themselves that you can you can always time it another to get one. Them. Lopez again. Oh. oh, he's hit the crossbar. So close to number three. And McGinty saves at the second attempt. Launches it downfield straight away. Important header by Kavanagh. Grand Slam won't be too pleased with Lewis Banks for taking a chunk out of the pitch there. Again, huge credit to the all the Grand staff at uh, Tallis Stadium. It really is a, a credit to them, the playing surface. Lovely touch again from Sean Gannon. Ball to Gaffney. Just held off Horgan there. Gaffney using his strength. And look at that pace from Rory Gaffney to take the return ball from Green. And the shot. Oh! That's the third time they've hit the woodwork in this game. What a goal that would have been as well. Was off the back of it was to conceded a chance. And that's where you're saying it. There's, a, there's always a thing you say be good to the game Ferruja quickly onto this one just a heavy touch oh. from Ferruja it's still there for him though good save by McGinty Ferruja again oh it's oh, another it's... one off the crossbar oh it's four times now in this game would have been lovely for Ferruja to be honest with you I, I travelled with him a lot and I, I just remember sitting talking to him thinking he, he just needed to learn how to understand the game and learn what his job was in the team and he, he's done that there's Hoare in the area and oh that's oh. another good save by McGinty Slide dog, just they're just hot and praying for the final whistle at this stage. Now, McGinty has been kept so busy in this game, he's made a succession of really good saves. Here's Gaffney in the area now. This time, it's a good block by Byrne. It might break for Parks here. 